LG Ultrafine Ergo. What do I think about this monitor and what is my experience using this? Terrific guys for tuning in. Today we're going to look at an LG monitor from the Ultrafine series, the 27UN880SU as you can see here. And what makes this display actually so special? Why is this popular? Let me show you in the side card. This monitor, in my opinion, checks a lot of boxes. First, it has a 4K resolution. It is relatively affordable. It has the USB-C, which is quite useful because you can, uh, through the USB-C, use this monitor as a docking station for various notebooks. Just plug in the cable and you get the display signal transmitted as well as the charging function. That's also very nice. And the clue is, not only does it stop there, but you also have this ergo feature, which basically means this monitor has this amazing monitor arm where you can move it around and adjust it on your desk, which uh, also has a very neat cable routing. Hey guys, there is a reason why these LG monitors are quite popular. And that's why I'm so happy to have these on my desk for you today. Let's quickly peek into the box. As you can see, here is the monitor arm that's already pre-assembled. You only have to attach it to the desk. Quickly uh, taking away the upper portion, you see the display below. Now, when it comes to installing this included monitor arm, you see you have basically two things I can recommend for you. Put the monitor arm in the middle if you want to sit a little bit closer or vice versa if you want to sit a little bit like to sit a little bit further away from the display since it is a 27 inch display bigger than 24 you can put it at the side that gives you more distance to the display also the thickness you can adjust this here i'm leaving it on default position and very easy to install another piece of advice that i can give you when taking out the panel please consider how you attach this there are two ways basically either you attach it from the front but i would recommend you if you can do it from the back because there are these two hooks as you can see there and it's much easier to do this from the back because you're actually seeing what you're doing then it clips into place just as the, adjust the position and the height according to your liking and we are done and guys, that's literally how easy this is to put together the LG monitor. And I really like the build quality of this monitor arm. In my opinion, this uh, LG Ergo series really saves you the hassle of looking for a monitor arm and you get one already right out of the box. And I think for a 4K display, that's very nice. So like I told you a second ago, you can decide how to position that arm. If you position it a little bit off to the side, you will have more distance, uh, which that's how I like it. But in case you'd like to sit a little bit closer to the monitor, you could, uh, in theory, also put this monitor arm in the middle. Then you're going to sit a little bit closer. Awesome. Now I'm going to show you the LG Ergo 27 inch 4K monitor a little bit more in detail. So first up, you can use this, as you can see, both with Mac as well with Windows. Obviously, this monitor has a bunch of inputs that you can see here. You have the display port, you have the HDMI, two HDMI, and you have the USB-C, so you can connect a variety of devices, which is kind of useful. And also, very characteristic for these LG monitors in general, is that you can control everything via this controller knob down here. You push it with a button, and you have various settings, such as the input control, as well also what is the best setting for the the best uh, settings for this LG monitor my recommendation is you go down to general settings and I can also show this to you down here in this card and then you look for the smart energy saver and my recommendation is from the factory I think this comes all setting on low but since I do video editing I noticed that this energy saving function in my opinion goes to the detriment a little bit of the image quality so I would encourage you to turn this off and see whether you like that more. At least that's the case with me. And another clear benefit, in my opinion, of this monitor is that you that, that it has USB-C, which uh, becomes more common, but yet still not all monitors have that. So if you purchase a monitor, even if you don't have a USB-C uh, device that you want to connect, I still would recommend you to look out for that just to future-proof. And to demonstrate, I have a MacBook Pro here, but obviously it could also be a Windows device. I'm just plugging this in down here. It gives me a prompt whether I want to change the input since two devices are connected. 
and I say yes. And as you can see here, it has switched over. And um, yeah, I mean, this LG monitor, I like also not only because of the uh, very nice monitor arm. I mean, you can see you can swing this around super nice and easily, but I also like it because of the colors. This monitor has really nice colors. And also what I like about this 4K monitor is that it gives you various options on changing the size of the text and the icons and everything. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, just to your liking. Terrific guys, what's my conclusion about the LG Ergo 27 inch in 4K? What positive things did I notice? And also did I notice something negative? First of all, as you can see, it's a very nice display that you can use for both Windows and Mac. It gives you a bunch of flexibility due to the various inputs that it has at the back. As you can see here, the display port, the two HDMI and very special, the USB-C, which is especially useful if you want to use this monitor as a docking station for your notebook. I showed you in this example of the MacBook, you just plug it in, it transmits the display signal and charges your MacBook, very useful. Then another very positive point is, for example, the cable routing that's integrated into this monitor arm. You can really tuck away these cables very nicely so you have a very clean, orderly desk. And also very important, don't make, make the mistake, there are actually three different models from uh, the LG Ergo line as far as I know. The 32-inch 4K, the 27-inch 4K that I tested to, uh, today, and there's also a 27-inch WQHD resolution. That's maybe my opinion, stay with the 4K ones. I think that would be a better deal for you because they have the higher resolution. Guys, please let me know what other information you need when purchasing a monitor and I will feature that. And also I invite you to head over to my channel page because they have a playlist, computer monitors. And for quite some time, I tested lots of different monitors from different manufacturers. And I hope the videos are getting better for you each and every time. So awesome for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.